Welcome. Today I'm going to be trying out a new type of silicone by Soraya Tech called Defiant. And the cool thing about this is the reason it's supposed to be Defiant is it's supposed to be better at making molds of 3D printed parts that are printed in UV resin. So if you've seen a bunch of my other videos, I've gone over different types of silicones like the platinum versus the tin cure and just things that have worked and not worked for me as far as the different resins that I've used. And in general, the standard types of resins are the ones that usually have no issues with cure inhibition, meaning when you create your mold of your resin printed object, it cures all the way and is totally solid. There's not mushy, liquidy leftover where it touches the actual resin part, right? So in theory, this is supposed to be better at that. So I just want to test that a little bit by using types of resins that I know have not worked for me in the past. And that is resins where I, I have added Soraya Tex Tenacious to it or water washables. Those have never worked for me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a couple of different molds and I'm going to use, you probably recognize these goblins from before. These are just a variety of different resins that I've had. And this is just to test for cure inhibition. I'm not actually going to try to make resin copies of these with the molds. I'm just going to pour in some silicone over these guys and see which ones, if any, are inhibited from curing or if the Defiant does well enough that it works just fine with all of them. And then just for comparison, I will do the exact same thing with just a generic platinum cure silicone. These back three should have should have no issues because these are standard resins, different brands. These two are from Funk Recall and they're the matte versions. This is just a standard resin from Salesy. Uh, and then this, these three are the ones that I expect shouldn't work, at least normally they won't. This is a mixture of Soraya Tex Tenacious with their ABS-like Fast. These two are water washables by uh, Rezioni or Rezion, however you want to say it. Uh, if this is their water fairy line. So that's what we're going to do. Soraya Tech Defiant on the left, generic on the right. Just to make sure that I have the same amount, I'm just filling them up to the first line, which should be plenty to just coat the bottom. Okay, now that they've cured, we're going to go ahead and take them out and see if there was any cure inhibition on any of them. We'll start with the generic stuff first. And as you can see, it's all gooey in there. So the front row, we kind of expect to be that way. The back row we would hope would work. The one that had the additive for the Tenacious didn't cure. Yeah, 
see that's not good doesn't seem like there was any maybe a little bit of inhibition not as bad as the the other stuff that one actually seems like it maybe worked just fine not sure if I can get them all the way out I have to rip it like I said because the closed off spaces in between his arms and things so yeah that one actually looks okay these other three should be fine but that looks like that actually inhibited a little bit right there so that's how that performed surprisingly there was some inhibition on the standard resins that I didn't think there would be so let's see how the defiant silicone did harder silicone than the other. It's a little bit harder to get it to separate here. It has a hint of looking like it's wet. But I don't think it is. I think that's just the print itself kind of looks like that. Yeah, my thumb is dry. bone dry. So that actually worked really really well. For resins in the past that I've had issues with with cure inhibition had no issues with the Defiant. I may be switching to that to make all my molds now. That's quite impressive. Defiant, everything's bone dry. Just a standard silicone and several of them the water wash the top three of course that you expected to inhibit did and actually one of the standard resins that I didn't expect to did but it would appear that if you don't want that to be an issue as much or at least in this test at all the defiant is the way to go but I'll leave that up to you I can only tell you what experience I've had and that's just with six different types of resins so so if you want to get some defiant for yourself I'll leave a link in the description and thank you so much for watching thank you all you supporters and those who continue to watch my videos it takes a lot of time and effort and I appreciate you and until next time go make some cool molds of whatever you want to print that's really awesome